Baby. I want a peach pie. <laughs> so we're gonna make a peach pie today. Hey y'all, so today, let's remember that we're coming to the end of summer and peaches are in full throttle right now. Um, about this size, they're about a medium size and they're wonderful. So today in Faith Zone, we'll be making that peach pie. I don't think you should skip this recipe. It's seven ingredients and it's super simple. I make my peach pie exactly the same way that I make my apple pie. So, go to the store as soon as you're done watching this and go get you some peaches and make this pie. It's so delicious, it's done good. I would be showing you the pie right now, but we ate it all, so all I have to show you is the peaches. You wanna get five or six peaches, and then you'll see the rest of the ingredients on the video. But you guys, I am certain you would love, love this peach pie. You will be mad if you don't make it. And you will be looking at yourself like, oh my goodness, how I ate this? Yeah, you did. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, face up it. And don't forget to turn on, uh, your, when you subscribe, turn on the automatic button so that it's on instead of off so that you can receive the rest of my videos as I post them. And I have a bunch of other ones coming soon. So let's go, peach pot, face oven. So you're gonna need five, maybe six peaches. Have some extra just in case. Let's go. You're gonna wanna rinse your peach and then you're gonna wanna peel your peaches, okay? You could do it this way. Um, there's another way that I usually do it is I cut the peach up and then I just skin it. That could take longer, but you're gonna wanna take all the skin off your peaches, okay? Okay, now, when all your peaches are gonna are cut, I mean peeled, what you're gonna wanna do is, oops, it's slippery, it's cut. See, this is how I get them open. So you get your first slice, and it's, it's just easy to cut them. So you go just like this. What happens when you're working with fresh peaches, okay? Okay, so I have chopped up all my peaches, and they're not in the big, I guess, loops, but I'll cut, I'll cut them up in small pieces just like I do with my apple pie. I am going to do a skillet peach pie just like I do my skillet apple pie. You guys know, if you don't know, I love a skillet. Okay. So in this cup, I added a half cup of sugar and I did a little, like three fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna mix all that together and then we're gonna add it to our peaches. Here are my chopped peaches and I am going to add the cinnamon and sugar. So it's a half cup, like I told you before. And I'm gonna kinda get in there with my hands to mix it in. So I want the bottom to get it too. And we're gonna add some more. And you know, just like apples, peaches are extremely sweet already. I don't even know if I wanna add all of this. But I think I am. No, I don't think I am. Okay. A little bit more. This is how I made it last time, and everybody loved it. So I think I might add one more peach. Yeah, I'm gonna add one more peach. So this is five peaches, I'm gonna add one more. Okay, so while your peaches are marinating, you're gonna go ahead and start, you're gonna light your skillet. And okay, we'll so go from your there. skillet is heating, and you're gonna add one stick of butter. You're gonna melt that. And then you're gonna add a cup of brown sugar, okay? So my butter is melting and I'm going to add my um, brown sugar. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our caramel. So our peach pie is gonna have caramel. And we're gonna stir this until it's smooth, because it will be gritty. So at this point, I'm gonna turn my fire down and I'm gonna to continue to let that butter melt, okay? And I'm gonna keep stirring. I'll check in with you in a second. So as you can see, I'm still stirring. My fire is a little bit lower, but the thing about it is, is this, you can still hear this gritty sound, so that means the sugar is not all the way melted. So we're gonna keep stirring, okay? What? Yeah, a good pie, when you have the caramel at the bottom, it all depends on you having that good stir. So stir this and stir it. Be, be patient with this pot, okay? Okay, do you, can you tell how smooth it looks? It looks really smooth. So we're just about done. Now what I'm gonna do is set this aside and I'm going to get egg white. One egg, you're going to take your egg white only because we are going to glaze the crust so that we can it can, it's gonna have it, it's gonna make it really nice, the top of the crust. So you wanna have this egg white, you don't wanna skip this step. Just like you don't wanna skip the step with the caramel. Oh, and we're gonna stir it. All right, I'll try it there. And you kind of, when you stir it, you want it to get bubbly. So we're gonna stir it until it gets bubbly, okay? And this is how you want to 
glaze the top of your pie crust. See how it's bubbly like that? That's how you want your egg white to be, okay? Okay, so now that the caramel has cooled, we're gonna put our pie crust on top of it. I know this sounds weird, but this is what you need to do. And you're gonna love me after you do this, okay? So you're gonna put your pie crust in there just like this, okay? And then as soon as you add that pie crust, you're gonna add your peaches. That. Isn't it pretty? Oh, wee. Oh, wee. Okay. Now, if you want it to fill up even more, you guys add more peaches. But this is all I'm doing right now because I don't feel like cutting no more peaches. So this is six peaches, you guys, with the brown, I mean, with the sugar and cinnamon. Okay. Okay. So now we have all this in here. We're going to add our second pie crust. Okay. We're just going to dip it in there like this. This is how I do it. You're going to be amazed at how that caramel comes up and covers this glaze, uh, the pie crust on the side like this. Okay? This is what you do. And then, after you're done doing that, your egg whites that you have bubble, you're going to, I don't know if you guys have um, one of these guys, it's a good guy to invest in, but one of my girlfriends, she didn't have one and she wanted to make an apple pie. And instead of using this, she used a paper towel. So, you're just gonna glaze the crust with the egg white, okay? Just like this. It's gonna, have, it's gonna be pretty. Don't skip this step either. Don't skip none of the steps, you know? So, this is what we do. And I cover the whole thing. You can't, I mean, it's one egg white. You can't do too much of it, so. And you want to get the whole thing, okay? As soon as you do that, you want to cut into the pie so that it doesn't explode, okay? You're going to put your little slits into the pie crust. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's still going to be good, okay? This is what I do. Okay, now. I have that leftover cinnamon and sugar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the top. Okay. You're going to get you a good pie and crust. People are going to be like, girl or homeboy, what you put on that crust? It's going to be your little secret. But this is what you do. And you're going to put your peach pie into the oven for an hour and 10 minutes, so 70 minutes at 350, okay? Be patient, let it cook. You're gonna have the best pie ever. And how many ingredients was this? Did you count? It's only seven ingredients, okay? Let's go. This is an extra step you don't have to do, but everybody in this house loves cinnamon, so you can add extra cinnamon on top. Watch how pretty it come up, okay? Let's okay, go. I put the pie in 350 degrees, okay? And I put foil underneath, because sometimes that Caramel overflows. Don't be mad at me, y'all, because it's still gonna taste wonderful. Okay? Hour and 10 minutes, 70 minutes. Let's go. So the peach pie is complete. It is done. So can you see the caramel oozing out right here? So it's gonna be all on the side of your crust. But there is your peach pie. And I'll give it another take. Okay, so I cut her open and she's extra juicy, but she tastes extra good oh my goodness the crust is like perfectly crunchy oh and sweet if you don't want it to be extra juicy like this then what you're gonna do is um let her cool a little bit longer but right now she's extra warm oh my lord she's so good y'all oh my goodness it's summertime get your peach pie in like so seriously it's so juicy i don't even have the patience to wait for it for my pretty bowls or anything you guys Make you some peach pie. Untie this. Yeah. It's about to have kids. They didn't ask me, I don't know how many times. Don't forget to give that thumbs up and make sure you comment also. Make sure that you comment and give me feedback so I can get back at you. Let's go. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Alvin. <laughs>